grand old partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I spotlight the DC GOP's critical role in establishing the Republican Party nationwide. January 17, 1856, the Republican Association of Washington issued a circular to the friends of the Republican movement throughout the United States. These patriots addressed, quote, our Republican friends, urging upon their attention the importance of immediate and thorough organization of clubs or associations somewhat similar to our own in every city, town, and village in the Union. The power and influence of these organizations cannot be overestimated by the Friends of Freedom. They are all important to carry on the, a political campaign, and it will be a matter of impossibility to compete with those arrayed against us in the approaching conflict without them. They are the most powerful and only efficient means of bringing out, concentrating, and making known our true strength. They will serve to rally the people, and inspire them with confidence and enthusiasm, and furnish the information necessary to expose and fairly meet the sophistry of pro-slavery Democrats. We go into the contest as a new and untried party, opposing old and well-organized parties sustained and backed by government patronage or bound together by old party ties. We must compel these parties to show where they stand on the only great issue now before the country, slavery or freedom. We must force them to array themselves on one side or the other of this question, and consider every man who is not openly and avowedly on the side of freedom as against it. At the party's first national convention, the association was recognized as the D.C. GOP. Louis Clefane, its leader, would be District of Columbia postmaster during the Lincoln administration. Back to Basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.